Hello YouTube and welcome to Groundworks Plays Transport Fever. This is episode 6. And in previous episode we have successfully built, uh, upgraded a lot of locomotives, a lot of trains, which basically put us in a good deal of debt. So yeah, that's why it was kind of hard for me to actually earn some serious cash. However, now that the most engines are upgraded, it's time to start building something new. And I'll first do by doing a crooked bridge over this river. Kidding. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? That's the first thing that I want to be building. Put it like this and be none the wiser. Sure. Okay, I'm kidding, but um, we will be doing the bridge anyway at some point in time, but not just yet. I'm just investigating to see how much it would cost me and how high do I need to build it for the ships to be able to go underneath it. And we are getting into the 20th century. As you can see, we are already seeing some AI cars, namely that one little black one going over there. Great! Our paddle steamer happily chugs along back picking up a new shipment of tools that's supposed to be bound for the New Haven. Okay, so with that thing in mind let us just connect these sections here because I would really like to connect and actually start getting more people here migrating to the other side because New Haven is supposed to be a river town bound from both sides of the river because why not? Okay, so, just checking out the land value, what can we do? Checking the parking, ooh, many cars now. Interesting. Okay, then let's see the situation at, over at Memphis. We have enough passengers, sure. And now going back, I really had enough of upgrades last episode, so I really want to do something fresh and new. And I'm thinking a line from Savannah to Houston might be in order. As you can see, Houston to Savannah, it's actually mostly flat area and it should be well done when it comes to another pas passenger route for our trains. I'm trying to look elsewhere, but I'm not seeing it, so yeah. Okay, so let's just connect Houston here. And my reasoning for actually connecting these is uh, I would like the station to be, I mean, Houston is at the edge of a map, but I don't think it should be a terminal station because uh, and the main reason because I wouldn't like it to be so is that there is another town off to our left. So might as well, you know, build a train station. I was first thinking that I should go with terminal one, but then again I'm thinking I would much prefer to actually have a passing station that would go from Savannah via Houston and then onwards to whatever the name of the city to the left is. Let's see, placement-wise, how we can do it. Hmm. I mean, I'm not too worried about the catchment areas, because catchment areas we're gonna fix with the commuter service that we will be running to pick up the passengers. Okay, so with that passenger station put here, we will want to connect to Savannah, and clearly... Oh, I haven't thought this through now, have I? Yeah. Okay, let's first take a look at the Savannah. We have residentials over to the left, so that means I would very much like to pick up residentials. Oh, and we could go, you know what? We could go actually through this forest, have a little bit of foresty trail. Oh, that would be nice. Well, in that case, I would not like to have my station in Houston positioned like this, so I guess I have just wasted a perfectly good 200k. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, and there is a town, which is the town Gresham, or 
I have no idea. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not that familiar with American names of towns. Apologies for that, but what can I say? I live in Sweden. Been to the US only twice. Okay. Hopefully, I'll, I'll went go a little bit more visit. I'm interested to see that. Okay. That being said, um, let's put the passenger station here and let's um, try to see that we build some additional tracks because I don't want this uh, section to actually, you know, this road from the town to expand and then block off my track services. No, 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 that shouldn't be happening. Okay, yeah, it looks pretty well and then let's see to get the tracks over to the savannah yeah <laughs> and the savannah I would like the my passenger station also to be the passing station so the regular station not the terminal and I'd like to put it here and that a little bit of piece of whatever go away you're in the way of progress okay so we can put the train station over here which I think is actually a very nice position because then it can continue onwards to the New Haven because long term I would like this to be you know like sort of east east west backbone that would be going through Houston, Savannah, New Haven, Memphis, and then Allentown. Okay, so let's connect the two. Double track. Now, guys, I'm no longer even start going to fiddle with a single track. We are in the 20th century. We should act like it. So, yeah. 120. I'm trying to stick with the speed limits because, obviously... We will. We have gotten in the previous episode a new locomotive, Atlantic, and I don't want to be using it just yet because it's a money sink, huge one at that, and it's. I mean, it's a great locomotive and all that, but I don't have the cash to support it at the moment. Hopefully, we will be able to do something about it in this and maybe the next episode. But that being said, we will continue preparing for it, and I really want to go straight through the forest. Because I think scenery-wise it will be look beautiful. I know, I'm not a very environmentally friendly person. Well, in real life I am. But when it comes to game, I prefer my route to be scenic. So, yeah, what can you do? I'm knocking off some virtual trees. I'll just have to live with it. Okay. Yeah, looks really nice. It's more or less flat area. And let's just go through the middle of the forest here. Beautiful. Have a second track. I found, guys, when you're constructing the track, track is really not that much expensive when compared to, you know, locomotives and all that stuff, because that stuff is pricey. This, the rest is actually just doable. So, uh, wrong. I want to be going from this end and then connecting to the right hand track. Yes. 120 all the way, great. That means that our Atlantic will be able to go un, uh, unhindered. Like I said, I'm not putting Atlantic in there just yet, but in the long run, I will for sure want to keep it. Oh, this is just ugly. I mean, it's practical, but it's ugly. I may need to replace it in sometime in the future but there is nothing to the left of it I mean so maybe maybe I won't need it that much well that's the problem of today tomorrow's ground forks yeah I know I just keep piling them up okay great now we have double track from Houston to Savannah so a couple of diamond crossings Please, not too much slope. I really don't like that message. Okay, check. Then we add another one. Oh, too much slope. Oh, come on. 
you've got to be kidding me. Not kidding, kidding me. Sorry, guys. Um, mm hmm. This too much slope is really getting annoying, but I saw actually I was watching Colonel Failure's couple of videos and he was smoothing on either side, so maybe that helped, I don't know. I really have no idea why is it complaining to that extent. All I want to do is connect this, come on, how hard can it be? I'll just remove it and make a shorter passing. Maybe the problem is that the passing is too long, simply put. So if what what if we make diamond crossing smaller? I mean it will affect the speed of our trains, yes for sure. But it's only for a short stretch until they, you know, cross each other. So yeah, see? Diamond crossing for low speeds works without problems. Hmm. Oh well. Then let's put the other one at the other end. Okay, that's one and the second one. Perfect. For once I didn't get too much slope. Thanks for that. Oh, and this just passing looks kind of ugly. Hmm. Is there a way how I would fix that? Okay, let's uh, start examining the commuter services before we actually buy, take the plunge and buy the freaking train, which is expensive as hell, as always. Uh, let's put the bus station. Oh, well, first let's smooth out the terrain, because, you know, I really didn't like how, the, how did it look with the station here. Okay. Great. Wonderful. Smooth as smooth. Awesome. Great. Now, station. We're just putting stops. I'm not too keen on the big stations, I don't know. In my view, they can queue up and stuff, and these kind of just stops, drops off, and continues on its merry way. I found these to be actually quite useful, I don't know. Okay, then we put one here, one here, and let's connect these two roads, because... No, not you two, actually. Hmm. I think it's better that I connect this one with the outer one. Because then we'll leave some place for the town to grow. And I mean, Houston, well, Houston should be a big city. So yeah. Okay, let's put a um, station over here. And then basically, as we are taking passengers, we will be doing almost like a figure of eight. And then one here. I think that should cover plenty room for expansion, so I think let's put a depot somewhere. Come on, give me good price. 13.4k. 11.2. Awesome. Sold. Now, line manager. So we are creating Houston Central. And that would be the C5. Commuter 5, Houston, Cent Central, great, okay, and then let's see, first station here, second over there, third one over there, fourth and fifth, so you'll be doing loop the loops, great, and then Load if available, great. And then I think to start, I think two Macs will be enough. So one Mac, second Mac, and... Uh, 
And yeah, I made a mistake in terms of selecting only road vehicle 11 to go use the line rather than the other one, so, well, whatever. Other one is safely rotting in the depot. I'll have to remember to do update that one. This is a post commentary, by the way, when now uh, when only when commenting I have seen this happen. Okay, yeah, well, what can you do? Okay, then let's create this section of the road in Savannah, and then now let's con connect it with this one. Sure. Up, down, nope. Uh, seems this is the flattest one it can be. What do you know? Now I want another depot somewhere over here. Or maybe over there. Hmm. Now I think this is better. It's an entrance to the town so I can chug out both passenger and cargo stuff. 15, 15, 10, oh, 23, no freaking way. I can get away with 12 here. Okay, depot, and then let's set up the bus stations. We put one over here. We want to make sure that we catch them all, so put in one, another one over here. Then another one over there. I think this should be fine. Well, you know what? I might actually connect these two roads here. And then I might choose a station, one station over there. You know, let's call it the Enthusiasm Station, one here and one in front of the train depot or the train station, so that our commuters can happily, you know, take their load off or take off. Okay, I think I overdid it a little bit, but, um, you know, cities are growing, guys. If you feed, keep them fed, especially with cargo, which I've been pretty much sucking at for the time being, but it's coming promise uh, they will be growing rapidly and as long as the people have somewhere to go well that's also good and as you can see all our balances are in the green which is great so yeah okay let's uh, anyway let's uh, be adding the stations we'll be adding some stations here and there and uh, Okay, load if available, perfect. And then let's buy two max once again. One, two, and then, uh, oh, not here, but rather than here, set the line for Savannah Central, yes, perfect. Okay, now that the, the, those two commuter lines are set up, we want to be for sure uh, creating a train line as well because you know it's kind of funny if you feed the commuter lines but all of a sudden you don't use a train line it just doesn't make sense okay so let me just quickly figure out how do I want to approach things we will need a rail depot that's for sure and yeah so let's take a note of this road vehicle and let's set that one as well to the Houston Central great so I fixed that as well great and now we can actually start playing okay and our buses are on the route so here we have ladies and gentlemen I present to you the Houston commuter line Oh, and there's a car. Nice. Really, really nice. Okay, so 
The purpose of these commuter lines is to grab the passengers from both Boston, or sorry, Boston, Houston and Savannah, and uh, feed them to our rail line, which will be then passing them onwards, hopefully. Great. Let's just put another view on our Mac, and it should go to the right here. Yes, it does. Great. Oh, don't tread over the pedestrians, you know, those are potential customers. But everybody is walking. So far, people have not realized the advantages of the public transport, but that's what, that's what, that's our mission. That's what we are here for. Okay, so, um... Let's see, rail depot. Now let's put it over here. And let's connect it in there. Great, and on the side we can see our bus coming along. Beautiful. Okay, let's define the rail route, and that's Houston to Savannah for the time being. Okay. Great. So, rail 4. Houston to Savannah. Okay, we can continue now with increased speed and we might as well add some signals. So let's put the signal, where do we put the signal? Where's our diamond junction? Oh, it's over there, okay. So, uh, I'll hold off on the signals just yet. I have to actually just jump off for a second, so I'm gonna leave you guys to be enjoying the road vehicle in the Savannah commuter route. So, but on the normal speed, of course, because we don't want them to be racing like Lama or something else. We want them to be nicely commuting and going slowly on their merry way. So, We have our Mac that is going through the Savannah, which is clearly a town being constructed, town at the verge of industrial revolution. Oh, that that's, looks like a French building over there. Interesting. By the way, guys, I mean, uh, this, um, this game I'm playing vanilla, but maybe a future follow-up, I will mod the heck out of it. So, yeah. Okay, and we are going towards our train station. Look, it's there. It's dead ahead. Okay, great. Ooh, ladies first, sure. You two, sir, will have to wait. Okay. We get an occasional car here and there, which I think is great because uh, we do want cars. But I'm worried that in the long run they will start to hinder my mm, my bus routes. Okay, time to take care, when I got back, it's time to take care of the rail line. And it's good because we have already got some, a little bit of cash, so it won't be not nearly enough to buy the trains, but then again, I can once again take a loan. Go figure. Let's put the traffic lights first. We want another pair of traffic lights here, here, here. Another one before the woods. I mean, if we ever get multiple trains, you know, running after each other, I think it's a good policy to have them be able to, you know, and another one over there. Okay, great. 
So with the signalization set up, it's time I think that we buy a train. And we have 3.17 million in the bank, which is good enough, but not nearly enough to buy a mogul with everything else. So I'm actually not gonna buy a mogul, I'm gonna buy a cheap, I'm gonna be a cheapskate. Sorry about that guys. But my reasoning is like this. This is a new uh, line that I'm setting up and it doesn't go that often and it's not that far and it's going on a flat terrain. So uh, I really don't want to pay up the high upkeep of Mogul or Atlantic for the time being until the passengers clearly pick up. So I'm trying to run this one with the Clastroy passenger cars, I think four of them should be enough, maybe five, I don't know. Let's see, one, two, three, four, and well, I think four should be enough. Let's set it on the line, and then later on we can always upgrade the train, because we have the running costs of this train, and currently we have know that we have no passengers, so that's my reasoning anyway little older locomotive and stuff but then again there we go consolidation it happily chugs along and then it will go for sure to the to our station I don't think that we will be picking them up any passenger just yet. I mean, they will be coming, but it will take a little bit. I think the first train for me usually always goes empty. But regardless of the train being empty, I'm thinking we'll hop along and go for a ride with the train on our new line. We want to see what it, the ex customer experience will be once they board a train from Houston going over to Savannah. So. I'm really especially interested to see how will that section through the woods go. Because I think it will be kind of a scenic route, you know. It'll be nice. And since I clearly demolished this road, the locomotives won't be doing the backflip over the road, which is very nice for a change. And the track is long enough so that it can develop enough speed. So, I mean, when we upgrade it in the future episodes with Atlantic or some other faster locomotive with faster cars, I think this will be a very nice, quick, reliable service. Beautiful forest. Love it. Okay, we are going to prepare for a little bit of slope. Going only slightly uphill. The good thing about this train is that I didn't have to take additional loans. I was able to finance it from the own pocket, which is definitely starting to feel really really good because so far I was always loan yeah loan what are you doing loan and I think this is actually much better so you know okay we are coming on a plateau great and coming into Savannah, which is clearly a well-developed city, actually, if you look at it from this perspective. Looks kind of nice, doesn't it? Oh, and there's our Mac going on his daily business. Wow, what a screenshot. 
a fine screenshot that it is. Okay. Well, so much for that experience. Oh, uh, yeah. You are going back, but we are not gonna follow. We will take on a next pressing matter. Oh, and we have gotten a single passenger, but not on the... He saw the train and said, oh, cool, let me go and watch. Our upgrades to the Mac are continuing. I mean, the vehicles are not that old and I don't want to be replacing them until they really live out their life cycle. Although when you're replacing vehicles, it's usually a good idea to replace them all because, you know, Mac is going faster than a stagecoach, that's for sure, so yeah. Let's inspect our cargo route. So, let's take a look at our train, 13 years old. Oh, that's the one that's running with Mogul. Okay, that's nice. And what about you? Oh, you, oh, sir, are running the general. Well, I think it's time that we retire the general, don't you think, guys? Oh, and wood to Savannah, it's 150 and, uh, yeah. So, okay, yes, definitely it's time that we, on the next pass, obviously, we will be retiring the general and swapping, swapping it for Mogul. So let's set up the replacement for the time being. I will no longer return the trains back to the depot because I don't see the value in it, but I'll just then replace them as they do the st stop on the station. So for this one, I'll take Mogul and I'll take, I think, five cars and I'll take the state cars. Where are the wagons? Yeah, steak car. Beautiful. So we take, what, five of them? I think this should be enough. I'm just checking in terms of if it still holds the same cargo that I don't need to reassign or anything else, which I don't, which is, I think, great. So, four cars, shall we put another one? Yeah, I mean, Mogul is powerful enough to chug on five cars without major problems. Okay, great. And then let's put yes to replacement when you go on a full uh, life cycle, but we will keep this form open for the time being because I do want my trains to replace, just not the other Mogul train, but this one. And the cost will be 3.47, so I'm pretty sure they will upgrade somewhere down the line. Okay, but it seems that the upgrades that we did to the track last time for the cargo did work out pretty nicely, and this one is 13 years old, so this one won't be replacing, I think. But as you can see, also intermittent signals work wonders because Regardless of each other, the trains are just happily going onwards and the first train, which is, was the general, is not stopping the second, which is Mogul, to actually, you know, continue on its merry way. And that's why I think having multiple of these are good. We are 2.15 million and we can actually repay some of the cash and so 3.50 in the loan. We are def our situation is definitely improving. So three million in the loan, see? What do you think, guys? Will I be debt free by the end of this episode? Hmm. I don't know, honestly. I don't think so. But maybe by the end of the next episode, we could be debt free if our passenger lines pick up and stuff, yeah. Repay and okay. 2 million. Oh, and when this mogul drops its load, it's gonna be nice. Payday! Let's see how much cash will that one bring. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, and it seems that like our production is picking up all along, all along the route. 
I can already see logs in the distance, you know, which I think it's great. So, yeah. And you currently are waiting. Why are you waiting? Ah, you're waiting for that other train to just go into the station so that you can go in and yeah, 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 I get it. Okay. Oh, and we have a new car. New vehicle, gondola. Nice. I think that one is used for shipping goods. I'm not yet shipping goods. So, yeah. And as you can see, our train happily continues to chug along while the other one is getting ready to also drop in some planks. How do we look here? Tools! Our ferry just left and uh, with a load of 50. Okay, and it's very very slow as usual. But we have gotten some bigger ships, so I think I will be upgrading um, also this one to Klondike. But I have to first, you know, supply it a little bit better, so, yeah. Maybe we'll run even three trains on this route, eventually. Who knows? Let's repay a little bit. One million in debt. Okay, now the... Let's see, now the cons the general should be returning, so I really might want to upgrade it as it arrives to the station. I think that would be the prudent thing to do. So, yeah, let's go on the line and replacement window. So, wood to Savannah, where are you, where are you? Uh, there you are, great. Replacement. Okay, and I want to basically get enough cash, so let's borrow. First, let's slow down time. Go about your regular speed, will you? First pause. Okay, four million, four and five, so that we have roughly enough cash. Let's put a little bit more, 452. I want to borrow more than I need because right now, the moment this train goes into station, I really want to see it upgraded to the new and beautiful and powerful mogul. The general has served us well and it it is due time for his retirement. So I'm putting also on to change on 25% because uh, I want to make sure that this train gets upgraded. Okay, let's just look at the perspective from the train station because I think it would be cool going to the correct siding great New Haven sidings and 5.39 okay great our mogul got upgraded and we said we don't want any further upgrades. Great. Yeah, now we have two moguls with five wagons each and those should be very soon starting to give us a hefty amount of cash. Okay, the other one is patiently waiting until our main one but there is plenty of wood for him as well which I think is definitely nice so guys I think with this upgrade we are able to now let's repay as much as we can so we we are not debt free but we have a good thing going we'll get some cash and uh, yeah then I guess it will be a uh, soon time when we get out of debt Okay guys, by the way, we are coming up on the end of the episode, so uh, like if you like the episode, hit subscribe button for more Transport Fever content that I promise will be coming soon. Yeah, so I'm just gonna...
check one thing quickly, that this train age, it's 14 years, so I don't need to replace it just yet, I'll replace it in the next episode. Okay, you guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this episode, like if you like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, this is Gromforks, signing off.